welcome back gamers to Gamer Guide channel. I am Rollin in Robocraft and Gamer Guide, and in this episode we're looking at the Dojo Bot, something that I based off the Brothership, which was my Tier 6 robot I uh, took apart uh, after the last patch hit us on the 24th and decided to put it back together uh, with a couple changes. So I added some more electroplates and took off the lights and things that it had before on it. Basically this is uh, a healer bot and uh, uses 8 different nano cannons as you see and uses 24 total electroplates which I think is probably a record for me as far as total electroplates for a healer. Um, I wanted to make it small and tough and uh, I call it dojo bot because I thought the styling of the roof kind of looked a little bit like a dojo or something. But actually this thing also reminds me of like a little uh, droid from Star Wars. I always think it uh, teeters around and moves a little bit like RTD2. So <laughs> I have a couple different ideas about it. But it's a lot of fun. I play it as just a pure medic. And uh, it uses four of these uh, tier 10 hover blades to get around. And everything else is the red tier 10 blocks. Um, the insides are... Uh, basically prism plated here uh, with some uh, prisms connecting the rods that go up through the top. Uh, the guns on top are mounted with the new arrow rods and uh, that allows you to shoot upwards so you can get those fusion towers and uh, also heal allies and stuff above you. Since the game changes, uh, hitting anything above you has uh, become a lot more important so you can take out those crystals, uh, whereas things mounted on the underside are only semi-useful anymore uh, with the new game mechanic. So um, I like it a lot. Uh, I'll show you a little footage here in a second. Uh, as far as the design though, I mean pretty much the inspiration behind this was just uh, make a little healer as tough as possible. I didn't want to be uh, trying to kill a lot of people, basically just lending uh, some help to my allies and letting them get the kills and make it so that if the SMGs and the plasmas target me they're gonna have a hell of a time uh, taking me down and uh, the person that they're ignoring basically would be able to kill them before they're able to take me out and it works really well this is definitely the uh, toughest healer or one of the toughest healers I've ever built uh, just because you can turn this robot a couple other things I like about this design is there's no real uh, way to tell which way is the front and I wonder you're probably saying hey why is that an advantage um, the enemy can't really predict your movement as well on this and so for plasma bombers and stuff like that uh, they don't really have a clear front you know there's no windows anywhere on it and it's a uh, pretty symmetrical uh, four-way symmetric on the bottom and two-way on top um, and you know I go back and forth a lot and I turn and stuff like that too to also rotate the plates and it's really easy to turn so if you're getting shot from the side uh, you can basically take damage on different plates at all times and still be able to heal your ally with uh, six of the guns. It's great if you're right in the middle of a group of your allies too because you have guns on all sides so you can kind of lend healing to everybody. So I usually play this by just pressing the uh, right trigger and uh, you know aiming at the fusion crystals and stuff when I'm with my group uh, with the right trigger and as soon as someone needs healing it just automatically defaults to uh, hitting them. And since you have guns all the way around you're sure to always uh, be able to tell where an ally needs help because uh, you'll see the guns default in that direction. If you're under the canopy you can jump out, get them taken care of. and. Uh, it's been a great little robot. So this is kind of a little harder to see how I build it so it's, since it's so compact, but if you want to try to do something like this for yourself, uh, a great way to start is just take these tier 10.6 electroplates and uh, just make them in this configuration, like a circle all the way around. Now on the Brothership, when I used actual tier 6 plates, I uh, put them the other way around. But then I realized, well, you know, you could actually get a little bit of protection by closing the bottoms and having the plates up like this. Uh, and then put plates on top as kind of a covering. And since you have extra CPU in Tier 10, I decided to go that route. These little uh, Tier 2 plates are great too. Uh, you know, even if you blow the gun off and these guns are all kind of on a, a mount, uh, shooting directly at it, most of the time you'll be hitting these smaller plates, even if you take off this, the side ones. Top plates too, are using four of those Tier 10.2 plates. And this is great against, uh, again, bomb attacks. And then uh, left and right side are flanked with those Tier 10.5 plates kind of creating that roof so 
Anyway, it's a lot of fun. I thought I'd show you a little bit of the mass footage. Uh, again, this is Dojo Bot, but uh, I'm still thinking of another name. I actually had it named as Brothership before. It's a little quirky as far as the flying goes. It uh, rocks around a little bit, but I kind of like that. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a droid or something from uh, Star Wars, and it uh, it still works pretty well. There's only been a couple of times where it gets uh, a little funky and uh, it takes me a second to like steady the bot out and then go forward. So if there's anything I was going to improve on this, it would probably be just the stability of it a little bit, and I'm not sure really the best way to go about improving stability, uh, especially since we're all the way at cap again here at 1511. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Alright guys, let's get started here with the game. And you can see right away this thing's got a little bit of wobble to it, which uh, I actually kind of like. Hey, check it out. It's uh, the Electromethus. Well, this is going to be good. This way you guys can kind of see uh, how I do compared to my popular Electromethus. Hopefully we can all stick together, keep each other healed. Oh, good. And we also have a, uh, a Mega SMG tank. So this should be a pretty good match. Looks like he's got five guns total, but uh, that will still work. Let's knock these crystals out. It's one of the things I like about the uh, top mount guns I got here. Works a lot better. The side mount on the electric mount will still work. Get this guy healed up. I kind of feel bad I have my chat off. I would like to uh, say what's up to the guy with the Electromant and say hi to the team, but I forgot to turn the chat back on after uh, I did the intro for this video. So hopefully they will forgive me if you guys are in this match and I didn't say anything to you. It's because uh, the chat was on. So. Don't be mad, don't be mad. Anyways, let's get this guy some support here and see if we can keep the uh, trifecta of healing going. See how well we can do by just pushing this one tank down the road. He's got the right guns for it. He's tanky and he's got the mega SMGs, so this could be really good. And you can see they're aiming at me, but I have so many plates. I got 24 electro plates on the thing, and with the other people healing me up, it's going to be super, super hard to kill me, especially since I'm know what I'm doing and I'm turning slowly uh, to the enemy's fire. That leaves them uh, continually charge, uh, continually uh, hit plates that are freshly charged up. So it works really well. Not only that, but like I was saying on the spot, I like it because you can't really tell where the front is on it. And so uh, it's hard to predict just by looking at me what my next move will be. Sometimes I do roll backwards in this thing just to throw people off. All right, now right here, I notice we're getting a little wobbly. It's still working okay. There's another good example of uh, people hitting me and this thing being super, super tough. Now, they knocked up a couple of, of my plates, but as you can see here, I mean, with another healer with you, it just brings you right back into the game and just keep those dark plates away from their fire for a second and you're good. It's so cool, this guy's got the uh, Electromantis. Electromantis 10 is still a great bot. The other Electromantis, I don't know if you've noticed, but they all uh, jumped around into tiers and made some adjustments for the most part. So a lot of those bots I've deleted from my own uh, from my own bot library. I probably should put little uh, tags on the uh, videos themselves to say that hey, you know, this is a uh, archival only, uh, you know, for design purposes bot because things have changed in the game. But the uh, tier 10 one uh, is certainly just as viable as it's always been. So if you guys are wondering, uh, that's still a great bot to build. Also, the uh, the uh, Ghost Maker is a great uh, healer, and I've been seeing lots of people playing that. It's a little bit more aggressive build than this or uh, the Electromantis. So you can't put the uh, electro plates or the uh, Tesla coils on the bottom of the Electromantis, so it works just as well. Let's finish getting this thing knocked out. Let's get it on up. There we go. The healing trifecta continues. Alright, let's get this guy down the road. Go knock down some pins here, my friend. 
Don't be afraid. Uh-oh, hopefully they didn't freeze out. Don't be afraid, little tank. Go shoot him in the face. What are we waiting for? Hopefully they're not ch chatting to me because I can't read it. <laughs> I always wonder what's going on when someone's just sitting there for a second. Maybe it's just I'm getting some coffee. <laughs> Shoot their face! Alright, you need to go to target practice in school, Mr. Tank. I'm gonna try not to get too far away from my team. I like doing this, it's kind of floating around in a pattern uh, that's not in a straight line. It makes it hard to, uh, for people to hit you if you kind of do a circle or you know, a triangle or something like that. It keeps it a little bit less predictable, especially for those overhead flyers. Uh, looks like uh, the electric man just got damaged. Uh oh. Dude, he just got, he got nuked on the last healer. They're just having a hard time hitting me because I'm doing the pattern. Plus, I got 24 electro plates, so yeah, they're sad. All right, that was a pretty good hit. They got off my back, uh, my back four rotors, cover blades. So that's not uh, not going to bode well for us. And now they're coming in for the kills. Go away, just, just ignore me. I am just a wheel, a wheel of electro plates. Nothing to see here. Okay. Well, we did pretty good there. I mean, we kept our uh, guy alive for a pretty good amount of time. Let's check out what they got going on here. We got the uh, nice sniper builds. I like that one. Six legs. All right, we're back in the action. All right, let's go find another friendly tank to follow around. This is our guy over here. Nice, he waited for us. So smart. We'll get some heals. Uh oh, hopefully I didn't just freeze out. That guy just likes to stop. Or maybe he thinks he's maybe he's chatting? I'm not sure. Okay, good, I didn't freeze. <laughs> I always I always worry when people suddenly stop and, and no one's moving. So this game has a tendency to do that to me. Your middle fusion tower is under attack. Oh, got the wobbles. So that's the only uh, shortcoming of this thing. Wait for me, Electromantis. The nice thing about the Electromantis is uh, it's pretty fast. It's definitely going to have me in speed because I'm just a... Whoa! <laughs> there we go. So this is like the R2-D2 nature of this bot. It just is like wobbly. So it's not as fast, um, but it is tougher than the Electromantis. So, but there is something to be said about having good speed, for sure. But as far as like staying up in the front lines with a tank like this, um, Dojo Bot has a little bit of an edge. If you're not trying to uh, test the quill people, you're just trying to play pure attack. healer. You can still hit them with your uh, healing guns, of course, like this, and kill some people. But you know, that's not going to be the main feature of this bot. It's really just the defensive, high defensive nature of it. And if you're with another healer, oh my god, this thing's good. Your All right, let's try this again. Your bottom fusion tower We're gonna take captured. this tank out for some uh, robo play shooting. Pull up some robots. All right, if we can get in there. Yeah, that's a lot of dudes. I think our uh, I think our tank's a little intimidated there. There's like three of them sitting right there at the, with the shield. Ouch! Heals me. Uh oh. <laughs> that wasn't good. That's the first time I've seen uh, one of my Electromantis get uh, one-shotted. Or, I don't know if it was one-shot, but he just got ripped in half by that plasma. Uh-oh! Tried to get his guns back. Uh, now I'm getting nuked. See, I took a healthy, uh, took a healthy blast to the face. Let's get out of here. And uh, it didn't take me out. Still got all my Everblades. Well, not all of them. Looks like I'm missing the bottom two, surprisingly, not the top two. <laughs> interesting, interesting. The bottom fusion tower has been Heal me, healer crab thing. Where are you going? 
There we go. That is some good observations right there, my friend. You are a good healer. We'll get this guy up in the air. We'll drop some nukes on people. There we go. Ah, that's a lot of blades on that one. I like it. I got a uh, octocopter I'm going to be sharing with you guys soon. It's called Roto Raven. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite bots right now, actually, out of all the stuff I have. This one's just fun to play, and it's definitely my, like a favorite bot of mine, but uh, sometimes I'm just in the mood just to play a really strong healer, uh, you know, and see how well I can do against a whole barrage of enemies. And so I'll take this for kind of that challenge. And then when I feel like, you know, playing a more offensive medic, I'll go um, uh, with either the Ghostmaker or the Electromantis, depending on how speedy I need to be and how much Tesla I want. So they're both good choices, though. Go eat some more shots. Let's take, help take this dude out. Might as well. But he's healed up pretty well. Ooh. That was some super lasering right there by our healer team. Alright, we're gonna re, re unconstruct this uh, little deposit here of plutonium. Dude, that sniper is definitely keeping his eyes on me. That red laser is like finding my ass at all times. But fortunately, there's electric plates on it, so. Alright, here we go. Here's a little bit of that quirkiness. Alright, these guys are waiting for me. Good. Trust me, guys, I'm not trying to roll around like an idiot. It's just, uh, that's one of the shortcomings of this, this design here. But we're back on it. And we got this guy covered. What's this dude's name, anyway? Um, Denny? Denny12310? So if you're watching, uh, thanks a lot for building my Electromantis at the end of viewer. Sorry I didn't say hi to you in the game. This is just, uh, I forgot to share my chat function about now, damn it. I'll definitely add this dude to uh, my friends list, though, because I don't think it's on there, if I remember right. If you guys want to be added to, to my friends list, uh, just go ahead and add Rollin. Um, I play that account mostly, or you can add GamerGuy, too. I will be doing my Let's Play series here again shortly, and uh, get my robot back up to the tiers. Due to the last uh, patch upgrade, I'm actually like up to tier um, 9 now on that uh, Let's Play series. Well, that's going to do it. We ended up pulling it off. Taking out the rest of those plutonium crystals, and let's see. Uh, yeah, that was some pretty good healing there. I did. Yeah. So uh, I always just look at the healing numbers when I play Dojo Bot, and kind of compare it to the rest of the pack. So I did really good. Well, that's going to do it here for this episode at Gamer Guy Channel. Thank you so much for leaving a comment and a like on this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Later.